if you saw the thumbnail and the title of this video, you know that I am transferring. If you don't know me or you haven't seen my videos before, my name is Bella. I'm 19 years old and currently I'm a sophomore at Mount Holyoke College in um, South Hadley, Massachusetts. It's a very small liberal arts school that's also a historical women's college. So that's kind of all about me if you didn't know already. But I just kind of wanted to make this video to explain why I'm transferring my advice for you. You if you think you might want to transfer or just considering it or anything just to let you know you're not alone and just kind of share my experience and just kind of keep you guys up to date on my life and what's kind of going on and also I think it's gonna be like the most vulnerable video that I've ever made so I'm feeling kind of scared to film this right now so please keep that in mind and be nice to me in the comments and I will really appreciate it. I first of all want to start off this video by saying I have nothing against Mount Holyoke College. I think it's an amazing school and I feel so grateful and privileged to have been able to go there in the first place. It's a very selective school. Academics are taken really, really seriously, and I feel like you can get an amazing education there. So I'm so, so grateful to have gone there. And I'm also a person who thinks that, you know, like things happen for a reason, then they happen when they need to in your life. And I do think that I needed to go to Mount Holyoke and like I needed that to be my experience to be the person that I am today. It's getting really deep. Wow. Um, so yeah, nothing against Mount Holyoke. I love it. It's an amazing school and I'm so, so grateful to have gone there. I'm in general a pretty like happy and optimistic person and I like to take that with me into whatever I do in life. So I kind of went in with this mindset of like, I'm going to do everything I can to make this work. Like I'm going to try everything I can to make this my place and like enjoy myself. I like I'm going to join clubs and I'm going to try to be more social and like all that stuff because I do think to a really large extent college and a lot of things in life are like what you make of them and the effort that you put in is what you're going to get out. I start my freshman year. I made my move into vlog and all of that stuff which is still kind of insane to look back on now because I was kind of a, kind of like the beginning of my YouTube journey I guess you could say. I get to school and I like have this mindset that I'm going to do everything I can. I joined some clubs. Um, there wasn't really anything that interested me in terms of clubs. There were very few of them but there was um, a club called Her Campus which is like college journalism and like blogging and I'm really interested in that so I joined that club. I did dance classes um, to meet other people who love dance and all this stuff and I met some really amazing people. One of my best friends ever I met on the first day of school. We actually had talked to each other a bunch of before that on um, Instagram and text but I met my one of my best friends ever Adele and um, I'm so grateful because if I never went to Mount Holyoke I never would have met her. I had all these amazing things happen despite this mindset that I keep going on and on about like I was trying really hard to find things that I was passionate about at school that would connect me with other people who I felt like like the same things as me and even though I was trying so hard to do all this stuff I still felt so alone. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I. I do not want this to be the first video where I cry on the internet, but it possibly could be. Uh. <laughs> I just felt like I didn't belong there, and I just felt like I didn't really meet anyone except for Adele who liked the same things as me. Of course, this is all like my personal experience, and. I am gonna have a different experience than everyone else. I'm not trying to say that like the social scene is bad or anything because it's not. It's just you have to know what you need as a person and if 
the school that you're going to actually offers that. I just had this emotional feeling that I was like, this really isn't the place for me. So I was like, I was trying and it really wasn't working. That's kind of the emotional thing. <laughs> Um, and after I kind of explain my reasons for transferring at the end of this video, I'm going to try and give some advice if you have the same feelings, um, kind of like retrospectively on how I've gone about this. And I really hope it will help you and make you feel like you're not alone. Getting back on track, it was only freshman year, so I was like, you know, it's only freshman year, like everyone has a hard time acclimating, like everyone feels like this. And unfortunately, I do think that's true. I do think that's like totally normal for starting college, especially like when you're a freshman, like you literally go from high school to this strange environment with new people and you're going to feel out of place and lonely, but you're also going to have like amazing times. It's going to be great. But the thing was that I had this feeling all throughout my entire freshman year and then we got sent home because of covid so from that march until now i've been in online school at my house i still had this feeling even when i wasn't like physically at school there's that like cheesy saying like absence makes the heart grow fonder and i felt like i had the opposite of that i was like the more that i was home i had more time to reflect and think about what i really wanted from my education and from my experience I just realized like even more and more like this is not what I personally want and it's just not what's working for me. Also a bunch of other reasons that I personally want to transfer. One big thing was the location of Mount Holyoke. So like I said, it's in Massachusetts. I would probably describe the campus as pretty like suburban um, slash rural almost. It's not in a college town. It's a very small campus. I think there's about 2,000 undergraduate students. I live in a really, really tiny town in Vermont and literally all throughout high school and basically my whole life, I was like, I cannot wait for college so that I can get out of this type of rural, small town, like living situation. Like I just wanted to go to a big city school or like somewhere with like like culture and like you know a town and more people i did take some classes at umass which is one of the closest like big universities to mount holyoke and it is really cool because you can take um classes at other schools in the area which is amazing but that would take me like 45 minutes each way by bus it just really wasn't it just wasn't a good environment for me like I felt really trapped and I felt like I hadn't left my hometown and like that's all the work I do in school is that was like to get out into the world and to like to meet new people and have new experiences and be in a different environment and I felt like I didn't get that and I felt really trapped. The other thing was which you guys kind of guessed by watching my vlogs is just what they offer in terms of majors and what you can study. So I personally like I've known what I wanted to study in college since probably like my sophomore year of high school. I have a huge passion for YouTube and social media and like creating and analyzing and all this stuff. Like that's what my passion is and that's what I absolutely love. So I always knew I wanted to go into like something in the communications field or public relations or advertising or even like television production, like something like that I always knew I wanted to do. But I wanted to be somewhere where I could like physically make something like shoot a tv show or actually get work experience and like have hands-on classes with people who are professionals in that field i'm currently a major that's the closest to what i want to do which is called um film and media studies it was only created last year from combining um film studies with a major that didn't exist before and so all that i'm learning is uh theoretical film stuff <laughs> like um there's no hands-on like actual even filmmaking which personally isn't what I even really want to study for some people like that's amazing and I've learned so so much and I feel so knowledgeable about that subject now but it's not at all what I want to be studying and it's not the way that I want to be learning. Um, the next thing is just kind of like the social scene and the resources that were available to me. I've already talked a lot about like how I just like emotionally felt while I was there and I just had a lot of trouble connecting with people or finding common ground of things that we were interested in and I also think that's due to the fact that it's such a small school. Like I feel like 
I definitely learned this in high school that I went to a really really super tiny high school and it was really hard to make like genuine friendships because the chances of finding someone who you like truly connect with and can relate to in such a small group of people is really slim like just like mathematically it's hard to do that but also just like the clubs and resources there weren't a lot of clubs it wasn't a big thing on campus there was no in my opinion, like, from what I experienced, there's no, like, school spirit or school pride or anything that felt like it kind of unified the student body, and I'm not even, like, into sports at all, but I found myself being, like, gosh, like, I just want to go to a big sports game where we're all, like, rooting for the same team and just, like, have that sense of community, and I felt like I just didn't get that. I always thought that I wanted to go to a small school because, that's where I was comfortable. Like, I grew up in a small town. Being in a big school sounds really scary to me, so I always thought that I wanted a small school because I would be comfortable, but I've <laughs> realized that that's not a good reason to choose to do something just because you'll feel comfortable and you already know it. <sighs> oh my god, this is emotional. Okay. Mm. And also, the last thing is pretty straightforward, but I do you think I've always kind of wanted to be like a traditionally just like co-ed school like literally anyone can go to the school like that's what I've always wanted I literally wrote down like seven pages of notes <laughs> if you guys know me I'm like I'm kind of insane when it comes to like planning etc so literally I have like this this right and this <laughs> oh my god I'm insane. I know. I know. If you are thinking of transferring or you're just like having a hard time at the school that you're at, I just want to say like you're not alone and it's okay to feel those things. And I did feel really isolated when I was like going through all this and like trying to figure out what I wanted, but there's literally no shame in transferring and you can if you want to. And I think just really think about what the school you're at is offering you and if it's really the place for you like do they have what you want to study do you feel like you can like thrive there and they have the resources that you need and everything and being kind of selfish in that way you know in like a self-care kind of way and know that you can do it and it's gonna be scary but I'm gonna do this and I will do it with you and I'm gonna share my entire journey on here on my channel and I am so excited for that because I had such a hard time making this decision, but I knew it was right for me. And literally, as soon as I came home from COVID, I started working on my applications and it was so stressful and so hard, but I'm so proud of myself and I'm so grateful that I did this for myself and I'm just so happy. <laughs> like, I'm so excited to like choose a school that I want to go to and has what I personally need. I'm just so happy and I'm so excited to share it with all of you. And I'm going to do a video about all about my um, transfer decision reactions, like getting my acceptance letters and all that stuff, which I'm so excited about. And I'm also going to do a video doing a reveal of where I'm actually going to go to college next year, which I'm just so proud of myself that I'm doing this because it's what makes me happy and I really hope that my channel always always inspires you to make big changes and do crazy stuff because it makes you happy and it brings you closer to what you want your like dream life to be like that's what I want my channel to be about and this is a huge step for me and I'm kind of freaking out so you are worthy of having everything that you want in life and if you have any questions about transferring or you want some advice or anything literally comment below and we can all try to help each other i love you and i will see you in my next video Mwah! giant kisses okay that's for you <laughs> Excuse my language, that's a hang up and pass it in love with